Hi, Intuitive D1111 here. My name is Diana. I hope you all are doing well. This is going to be an all love messages video for Scorpio. We're going to go ahead and see how your person is feeling for you and your connection and see what messages, what it is that they want to tell you. I'm going to go ahead and start with toxic triggers. So this can pull up like shadow energy that they're um, working through or perhaps that you're both working through because of course you know the energy can go both ways in your connection and this deck is from Bridget um, at Divine Essentials. All right let's go ahead and see. So Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus as well as North Node. How is your person feeling for you and your connection? Show us the cards that we need to see. What is going on with Scorpio here? How are they feeling towards Scorpio? And their connection. I've got some flyers already. All right. So let's see what we have here. We're going to take all of these here. This is Glot. God, Scorpio, your person has definitely been thinking about you. <laughs> There's a lot. There's a lot going on. All right. Let's see. Let's see here. So bottom of the deck, it says evolution. You are no longer that person. That's deep, Scorpio. So I really feel like you have, I know you rule, you know, death and rebirth, right? That's your card in tarot and the house that you represent with the eighth house. But I mean, you are really, you've caused a transformation in this person. It's like they will never be the same after connecting with you. Um, I really feel like you brought to the surface um, what it was that they need to release because it says here old emotional wounds are keeping you in a karmic cycle so you need to cry and let it go so I really feel like there are things that happen with this connection where they were forced to be vulnerable they were forced to crack open you know that heart chakra right um, because you know it looks like it says beliefs your beliefs are keeping you stuck so when I see that I really feel like um of course, this can be conditioning, like, you know, maybe perhaps what they were taught to believe, you know, growing up, like they could have been taught, you know, okay, well, it's not, um, you know, men are supposed to be strong. They're not supposed to show their emotions. Well, no, that's not true. Men are not considered weak for showing their emotions. If anything, you know, men are strong that can open themselves and show their emotions, right? But it could be even something simple as that, you know, keeping them stuck in, you know, just not being expressive and not saying, hey, you know what, this is how I felt when you did this, or this is how I felt when this happened within the connection. Um, and then it says, remember who you are and where you come from. So when I see that, it's like, you know what, there could have been, there was some type of self-sacrificing that was happening within this connection where your guides, you know, the divine wants to remind you, it's like, you know, no, you're not going to bend over backwards time and time again and let this person just, um, cut through all your boundaries, right? You're going to have to pull away and remember who you are. It's like you're not called to be a doormat, right? Period. That's not what we're doing. And then it says meditation. So search within and find peace, wholeness, and love. So in this connection, um, you've really been called, and I believe your person too, it's like you guys would trigger each other to the point where, you know, you have to look outside of yourself, right? as far as, you know, connecting with the divine. It's like, of course, you have to work on what's within, but there are points where you have to connect with your source, right? Um, I definitely feel there's a lot of love within this connection because it says true love. So it says true love will be yours. So definitely this is a connection where there is a lot of love, um, but you have to, it says affirm and take back your power with positive self-talk. It's like, don't ever put yourself in a, you know, a position and we've all been there where you just um, consistently allow someone just to break you down. And, um, you know, because then that becomes emotionally abusive, right? And you don't condone those kind of relationships. All right. So let's go ahead and see. Love messages from your person, Scorpio. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and north node. All right. So how is your person feeling towards you right now? since we got really deep so fast. Okay, it says, I am grateful for the spiritual lesson. So yeah, there definitely were karmic cycles within this connection. I think we're dealing with the karmic soulmate, some of you. Um, 
But others of you, you know, you just had karma that needed to be clear. They could have had karma in their life they needed to clear too, you know. All right, what else? How is this person feeling for Scorpio? All right. Look at this. Two cards about spiritual lessons. There we go with that vulnerability. You can be completely open with this person. And I feel this person was afraid to be vulnerable, right? Um, vulnerability, normally when I get this card, it's like, okay, you can be completely vulnerable with this person, but they're choosing not to. They're choosing to keep their emotions to themselves, right? And then yet again, it says this person is in your life to teach you a spiritual les lesson. And many of you have learned it. You're just like, you know what? They're not changing. So because they're not changing, I need to distance myself until they take that time to change, right? All right, what else? Love messages from Scorpio's person, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, as well as North Node. We have Faith. This is a destined partnership. Okay, so definitely we've already seen that there's a lot of love within this connection. Um, there's just a lot of healing that needs to be done, right? And then we have new love. So a new love where recommitment to love is developing. So I see this like the Ace of Cups. So um, for some of you, you can have a new start with this person, um, which, you know, hopefully it looks like they're going within and I'm hoping they're, they're you know, they're trying to heal, you know, and change their belief patterns about love and open up more. But if not, God will send you someone else, right? The divine will send you someone else. And so it says new love. So some of you have a new love that's coming in. So you're going to have a newer person and you're going to have an older person. Okay, what else? What else for Scorpio? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Okay, we have I replay our conversations over and over again. And then leap of faith. It is safe to leap of faith. It's safe to make the move that you're considering. And then bottom of the deck, I wonder if you are happy without me. So you know what? If you pulled back your energy, maybe you cut cords, maybe you um, you know, just took time to yourself so that you could really reflect on what it is that you want and you know, and get your boundaries, you know, stabilized, then yeah, they are wondering, like, you know, why is Scorpio not running after me like they used to? You know, because Scorpios are loyal. They are um, very loyal signs. And they are, um, they will fight for the people that they love. And so a lot of people, you know, people can take advantage of that. And your guides are like, no, you remember who you are. You're not going to just, you know, let people take you through the ringer like that, right? So I feel this person wants to take a leap of faith towards you. That's what I'm feeling there. Um... And then I'm going to use this deck from White Rose Guidance. Let's go ahead and see it's Divine Love Messages, the second volume. Let's see what else your person wants to say to you, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, as well as North Node. What does your love interest want to say to you? And if you do enjoy the content, definitely please like the video for me, guys, and subscribe. That would be nice. Let's see. Oh, we got a, oh my God, we got a lot of messages, Scorpio. <laughs> I'm going to take them all too. Okay, it says, all I ever wanted and needed is you. So that's, that's beautiful. Like they really, they really feel the connection with you. And then we have, your beauty and grace captivates me. All right, Scorpio. <laughs> but it says, I can't face you right now because the intensity between us scares me. Yeah, they need to um they need to get over that, right? It's easier said than done, right? Okay, and I love you, I hate you, I can't live without you. It says, I want to give you the world. It says you are my rose. I can't bring myself to open up and let you in. Boy, this person um, you know, if you work on your heart chakra and this is a counterpart connection, this will help your person. So there's a lot of heart chakra um, healing and activation videos that are even on YouTube that you could listen to as well. And then it says, you will be in my heart until death and beyond. And you're always so sweet. All right. So thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, go ahead and hit the like for me. If you feel led, leave a comment and subscribe. And if no one has told you yet today, I love you. You're amazing. And thank you so much for joining me. Okay, bye.